Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Y yes, so it's time to work on the space station. There is a lot that needs to be done and very little time, unfortunately. So we'll s not switch to that. We'll set it as a target. Just make sure it's the right thing. Perfect. Ah, uh, this is going to be fun. Hmm, setting up nodes. Let's move that forward. There's just too much stuff here to actually click on the right thing. Now let's see what it's going to take to actually dock up with this. It We aren't really off the beaten path too much as far as like the inclination or anything else. I'm pretty sure all we're going to have to really do is probably just a very minor burn and we should be able to just dock this thing up ever so nicely real quickly too very quick like which is always very good for me I, I do enjoy that not too many breaks you get in this game but with docking sometimes you can get away with some very very easy and simple stuff very simple um just knock that back again this doesn't need to be precise but you know 1.8 is very good I will say so we got two pieces here this is our dock I, I don't think we are going to be using it as a dock, though. There's a part of me that wants to attach a few fuel tanks to it, and we can kind of use the space station as a separate but equal fuel depot, even though our other fuel depot is just... Oh, excuse me. Chock full of fuel. We Our other fuel depot actually has about six or five orange tanks full at the moment. So that is a very, very, very good thing. Let's see, are the engines up? Everything's good. Let's just speed this up a little bit and get to our node. Now, I'm, no, I'm not really expecting the docking on this to take too long, but uh, this is going to be a bit of a process because this is going to be a little bit different than how I've docked stuff up before. And I don't think... It's going to take that long. I'll, I'll knock this down to like 20 seconds. This doesn't even need to be precise either, so it's not that big of a deal. Wow, I just guessed and I was almost right. Almost. So, let's see. we got to wait till these nodes meet up. Why is that moving? I don't like that that's moving, but whatever. It's just moving very slowly. It's probably... I, I, I've never actually noticed this moving before, but... I'm not talking about the, the planet itself, but the uh, actual node should be coming down here ever so nicely. Perfect. Very, very good. So this should be a very major chunk of the space station being added right now. And this is actually pretty exciting because I didn't plan on adding this until closer to the middle of construction or maybe near the end. But yeah, that's perfect. But, you know, I figured might as well do it right now. It really isn't going to make that much of an issue. As far as I can tell, we should be okay. A lot of this stuff is going to be added in, in very, very specific spots. And pretty much the whole thing is already laid out. So, I'm not very concerned with just kind of overall layout. We might end up moving stuff depending on how it's going to look and also if I can actually pack in more fuel tanks by doing something a little bit differently but there's a part of me that doesn't think so so we'll, we'll see that, that, that's we're all kind of leave it at that now I'm not sure I think this part needs to be attached onto here but that isn't a hundred percent it's been a little while since I looked at the blueprint so I do apologize We'll start slowing down for right now because I don't want to impact the station. I like the station the way it is, and I just want to see it get bigger and better and more awesome. This is a Duna station, so, I mean, honestly, this is the first time I've actually built a space station in orbit around another planet. So I'm a little curious as to how everything is going to go, but, I mean, overall, it's not going to be a very, very big station. Uh, probably going to be a little bit bigger, if not, probably about the same size as the moon station I built not too long ago, which we actually finished off on, yeah, not that long ago, yeah, it's, it, I think we finished that 
within I potentially I think it was maybe four episodes where there really wasn't much left to it so it, it did work out very nicely let's see how far off are we on the node 0.5 we should be able to bump ourselves back down now I will be adding the voltaics I think the next episode and you know we can kind of go along with that and I really want to get some voltaics on here because I don't know if this thing has its own source of power I do know that there are two small panels on there but I, I don't know I don't want to take any chances I would rather have just one massive solar cell on there that are the big voltaics on there instead of just having a little tiny guy on there that can barely power the station so all right time to slow down I am definitely shooting past it this time. This is the second time I've done this. It's been so long since I docked stuff like this. It, it's... I'm, I'm getting a little rusty, I think. I, I, that's what it has to be. Because I never used to do this before. Alright. Come on. Alright, 225. At least we didn't f go flying past the station. Um, I think we're going to have to spin around because we will impact the station at this rate. If anything, I think what I'm going to do is a burn off to the side here, just in case. And definitely am I glad I did that. Holy crap, we would have like just smacked right into it. Wow, I am being such a noob right now. I don't know what is going on. All right, stop. Take focus on the, the situation at hand. Man, what am I doing? Um, wow. <laughs> oh, that was great. Jesus. I'm just dancing around this thing. Just be, bleed off that speed, man. That's all I need to do. And I'm just, like, dancing around being a noob. All right. Just get right on the node. There we go. Perfect. Now, thank you for not being such a noob. Man, I I don't know. I, I don't know what... Sometimes I just lose it. I, I, I think that's what it is. Just get rid of that. And start moving towards the station really slowly. I think getting it down to about 100 or... or well, not 100, about 60 or 50. We just need to get right underneath the station, to be honest. That's right where we need to be. That will be our little sweet spot. What are we looking at RCS? Um, not that bad. We just need to get rid of some of this weight, too. That's the other thing. All right. Whoa. Whoa. That is very, very low. Bring that down a little bit. And we'll go that way. RCS on. Oh my god. There we go. I don't know why it jumped like that. That was really weird. It just seems like it's getting more power in the front here or something. you think that these would balance out, but I guess not. Just totally not what I wanted it to be. So let's speed this up. And... That is looking good. Just kind of slow this down. All right. So we need to disconnect the front portion here because we cannot have that attached and we cannot dock with that attached. So we'll decouple this. Now mind you, that is still uh, an active craft. We do have stuff on here and everything is should be in a fairly decent working order. Now bring this back here, set that as a target, and yeah, that's all we can do for right now. Turn this RCS off. I really want to get this detached as well, but we can't do that, at least for right now. That's not going to be a priority just yet. So I think we got to get those pointed up towards just straight up right there that is exactly what we needed and 
Then I believe we gotta flip this this way. Just making sure this thing isn't floating away, because that won't be good. Now getting these lined up is gonna be a really big pain in the butt. So, RCS and... Nice, that it's just working perfectly. All right, that's set as a target. No issues whatsoever. I thought this was gonna be probably one of the more annoying parts of it, but no, this is this is not that bad at all. I bet you this one's gonna be the annoying one. Right, slow that down. And bring this over. Oh, no, 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 we're going too far over. There we go. You think with all this docking and all this stuff I've been trying to do, I mean, I couldn't even dock the rover last episode, so it's probably just like a bad omen or something now. It's just tainted. There we go, just go start going up. Dear God. I'm really loving that the fact that most of the station stuff is already in orbit, and all I have to do is just basically dock it all up and call it a day. It makes things a little bit easier for me. It's much easier once the stuff is in orbit. Doing the whole takeoff thing is kind of annoying. So, alright, come on. Slowly. That is looking good. Turn this off and that. And... Do we get a dock? Perfect. So now they got a whole new part that that is amazing. It's looking really good already. I am I'm happy. So let's get this part up. This shouldn't be very much of an issue either. Just slap that on and hopefully this thing does have enough RCS to power itself and get itself up there. So we just need to go up and over. I really don't think it's gonna have enough, but that's just, nah, I don't know. It's working itself away from the station, which I don't like. I don't wanna be heading towards the station either, but come on. There we go. All right, now we gotta orientate this piece around a little bit. Set that as a target. And we gotta just make sure it's level a little bit. We are burning away this RCS fuel like crazy. Um, come on, wow, this is really hard to control. This is actually very annoying to control. Come on. It's just working against every part that I'm trying to do. If I'm trying to go forward, it's like, nope, backwards. If I'm trying to go up, it's like, nope, down, down. Well, luckily, I can fix that. I do have a remedy for that as well. Um, it's just going to take us a minute. Let's see. Actually, I know that I can remedy right now. Oh. We, are, we cannot lose this piece. So, hold on, guys. I will see you in a second.
Alright guys, everything's looking pretty good. I ended up using a station piece that I've had on here for a while. It came in handy. I, I ended up bringing this with us on our first trip. There's a lot of stuff I just kind of brought with us on our first trip that is just overall really useful. Just kind of things that are really good to just have with you regardless of... Uh, you know whether or not you're actually going to need them for a lot of different things but oh god this isn't going to be good but hopefully it lines up a little bit I really don't think so but come on yeah it's a little crooked I'll end up fixing that off camera and uh, we'll, we'll you know, kind of fix things up and make everything look really good but overall this is what we got for right now and uh, yeah, so I'll be adding on a little bit more with the Habs. Once again, we got to get the Voltaics on here, and overall, it's looking pretty good. So, anyways, guys, uh, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.